This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. Well, there's big military news this month, and when I say big, I mean really big. Massive, in fact. It's the Massive Ordnance Penetrator. I could not be making this name up. It's a 30,000-pound bunker-busting super bomb so big the Air Force had to modify B-2 and B-52 bombers special to carry it. Now, the maker of this behemoth, Boeing Space Defense and Security in St. Louis, is moving forward by developing a modified fuse and scheduling flight tests for this big guy. Now, it never fails to turn my head when something new happens with the massive ordnance penetrator. They built this satellite-guided giant smart bomb to take out things buried deeply underground that until now have been nearly invulnerable to even the most powerful conventional munitions, even some nuclear warheads. Now use your imagination about what that's for. Caves, underground nuclear facilities, hidden weapons caches, bad guys in hiding, now, we're worried about rogue nations developing atomic weapons. Well, the massive ordnance penetrator and its three-ton high explosive warhead ought to give them something to think about. So just how big is it? Bigger than the Buick? Yeah. It's bigger than one of those nine-passenger Ford Country Squire station wagons we used to ride around in as kids. In fact, it's about as big as a Caterpillar tracked front-end loader, just longer and skinnier. It's 20 feet long, weighs 15 tons, and can penetrate 200 feet through reinforced concrete before detonating. Now, it's funny. I've heard people wonder which gender named the massive ordnance penetrator. I couldn't imagine. But one thing I do know, we sure get a lot of hits on our website whenever we write about this massive ordnance penetrator. It's a fact that many people in the aerospace and defense industry are intensely interested in this advanced weapon system. And given the name, I wonder who else might be reading these stories. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Keller.